In this video, we're going to describe how to go ahead and add dual color headings to your website to get this great looking effect right here. Hey everyone, my name is Donald from Brainstorm Force and I make WordPress video tutorials of our products. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So let's go ahead and dive right in. From our Elementor page builder, let's search for dual. From here, when we click and drag this in, we already get a good example of what we're getting into with this element. So we have a few options underneath the heading text. This is where we're going to have all of our heading text. So we have the before text, the highlighted text, and the after text. And if you view on our website, you'll see a bunch of different examples right here. So this would be the before text. This is the highlight text right here, the different. And then this is the after text. So you have those different options there. So let's go ahead and do something like this. Let's do best website online, something along those lines. And then we have our after text if we wanted to go ahead and do that. We also have a capability to link the text to something on our website or do a, an outsource link. Under style, this is where we're going to go ahead and get all of our, all of our stuff right here. We have the general, so we can select our tag for the, for the heading. We have our general alignment, left, center, and right aligned. And then we have layout, so we can do inline or stacked. So inline is going to have the, uh, the words all together as a sentence. And then if we do stacked, it's going to take it and stack the before, the after, the before, the highlight, and then the after text all on top of each other. For the responsive support, if we have it on inline, we can go ahead and choose where they stack for tablet, mobile, or tablet and mobile. So we have those options here. Then we have spacing between the headings. So between these two headings, we can go ahead and increase or decrease the space however we wish. For the style, this is where we get into being able to uh, edit all of our style to make it look different. So under style, we have normal and highlight. So let's work on the normal for now. Let's go ahead and style this a little bit more so that it's uh, a little bit better looking. And as you notice that when we style our normal, our highlight gets styled the same as well. And this is because we haven't chosen to style our highlight completely separate from the normal yet. We have an advanced tab, so we can do background types, padding, borders, things of that nature. And let's go ahead and add a 10 pixel padding and add a single border to that as well. We can go ahead and do that. And we have a border radius and our color right here. We're going to go ahead back to our spacing between our headings and go ahead and add that spacing that we saw earlier. So let's go ahead and do that. From the style, we're going to go back to highlight and the highlight color. We can go ahead and choose the color for that. For now, let's choose white and I'll show you why. For the topography, we have those options to change that as well. And under advanced is where we're going to do most of our work. So let's do the background type. We're going to do this as a color. Add 10 pixel padding all around. And then we have that look that we saw on our previous example right here to have borders and backgrounds on our, on our different headings right there. So we have that right there. The border type, we can go ahead and change that, and we can also add the border radius, so it's a little bit rounded if we want to do something along those lines. And then we also have the ability to do text shadow. So it's very simple to go ahead and style your dual heading right there. It's a tongue twister to say that as well. So we have the ability. So we have the, the best website online right there, and be able to go ahead and style both of our headings completely separately so that we can get these unique looks to our website so it's not just boring one one standard heading or anything like that i hope you guys find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos and we will see you guys next time